All right, Anthony, took the boat out of the water. See, we just took it out, took the boat out of the water. But I'm taking a movie, and I'm going to show it to you because something important happened. When I was taking these markers out, and I took this anchor off, I noticed this guy. Now, I've told you about him before, and I've seen one, but not for many, many years. He's very rare. This is a jellyfish, and you can see he's like jelly. Okay, he's wrapped himself around this rope, and um, he is super cool. And you can see he's like jelly. That is a freshwater jellyfish. So I wanted to take a movie so you could kind of get a look-see as to what you're looking for if you ever dive down and see one. But don't disturb it because these are super, super rare and super important to our lake. They actually clean our lake. So whatever we had going over there, he was liking it so much he attached himself to the string. And he's pretty big. He's about as big as I've ever seen. So he's a monster. Uh, we're going to be super gentle with him. I'm going to take him off. I'm going to cut this rope. Susie went and got me a pair of scissors. I'm going to cut the rope. When I cut the rope, I'm going to scoop him up very gently. And I'm going to place him back in the water right in front of my beach. Because I know he's good for my beach. And I want him there. And I'm going to keep him there And he, if he stays. I, I suggested that we leave him on the string. Susie says, no, let him go. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him go. Because uh, he probably needs to move around. And uh, I don't know. I think he kind of floats around. I don't see how he moves because he's all jelly. He needs to get to deeper water for the winter and well, hide gonna, in the mud. We're going to put him in deeper water for yeah. sure. We're going to put him okay. back where he was, right about where the depth was. He was about the same depth. <clears throat> uh, he was out far, about as far as the uh, bouncy the bouncy things we had. So I'm going to gently get him, scoop him up, cut the string, put him in my boat, take him back out there, drop him in the lake. And that's how we take care of our lake and our neighborhood because it's important to us. And that's what we do, right? All right, I'm glad you got to see him. So next time you dive down, you got some goggles. This is the guy you're looking for, and please leave him alone, okay? I'm not going to hurt him one bit, so I'm going to cut that off. All right, so I'm going to cut it off over here. I'll cut him. I'll gently pull that through if I can. He was on there. He was on that little knot oh, there. Yeah. You know, I should have just dropped him in the way he was, string and all, right? I'll cut him here, right? Yep. I'll cut it again. Probably like to get rid of that knot, though. <laughs> I don't know. He was attached to it. He kind of liked it. Mm. I don't see why he wouldn't like it. All right, so I'm going to get something gently, uh, maybe a cardboard box, slide him underneath gently. I'm going to handle him very gently so he stays put and I don't break him up. Because breaking him up.